What's going on guys, it's Ben here from Beach Aquatics and welcome back to Fish Room Update 1-0. So, yeah, I've been working on the fish room for quite a while now. Um, summer is almost over, I about, have about three updates left until the end of summer vacation. Um, but, guys, I, I am actually really surprised that we've gotten to video 1-0. Um, even though that I forgot about yesterday. Yeah, so yesterday I was actually out the entire day. Um, I didn't get back till really, really late, so that's why um, this week's Fish Room update is coming out on Thursday today. Um, but it came out last week on Thursday as well, so I will make sure, guys, the next three updates until the end of the summer will come out on Wednesday. But from then on, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make them come out on the specific Wednesday date because I will be in school in high school. High school is going to be a little tough. It's going to be much tougher than middle school as I hear. Maybe not. Um, but whatsoever guys um, let's get into it. We have some really cool stuff to show you guys. Some new fry and my new platy tank um, and uh, some upcoming videos that we got to talk about. Okay guys so we're right now looking at our 20 gallon platy breeding tank. Um, so these guys have been quarantined for more than five days, actually about a week and a half now. Um, so I am going to be taking out the uh, fish here, uh, the guppies that I have in here, and putting them into my uh, new planted aquarium. Um, and uh, as you can see, we have fry. That's a platy fry right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. We have one right here, and we have one right there. And uh, we have some swimming in this breeding mop that I made. Um, there is some snails that came, I'm not really sure where the snails came from, um, it's right there. Uh, otherwise, um, our guppies are doing really, really well, we have more fry. I've counted about 15 fry. Um, now, we went to PetSmart, and yeah, I think that PetSmart's fish are much healthier than Petco's fish, uh, but I asked them for three females and one male something got messed up because now I only have now I have three males and one female so I'm definitely gonna have to take out some of these males and maybe put them into my planted aquarium um, I think that would definitely help relieve some stress from the uh, breeding process in this tank um, so uh, yeah um, let's move on over here our planted aquarium is doing really really well um, as you can see, it's um, it's just doing very, very, very well. It's all the plants are very green. Um, I don't have any problems in this tank whatsoever. Like the last planted aquarium that I tried, um, I'm not really sure where the neon tetra is. Hmm, that's weird. It'll pop up sometime. Uh, but otherwise, this tank's doing very well. Let's move on to the goldfish tank. Um, the goldfish tank has a ton of algae on it. I definitely need to clean that up today. Um, but otherwise, it is doing very, very well. We still have our three goldfish, our three uh, black moors, and my mom's fish that we're boarding for her during this summer vacation. Um, otherwise, our DIY filter is doing amazing. That needs to be changed as well. But otherwise, all the algae in here is healthy algae. It's not bad algae. So I might let it grow a little bit so that when all these fish go to my mom's classroom, I will uh, I could turn this into a planted aquarium. Um, so that's, we really didn't have much to update as much as I may have made it sound, but now what we're going to talk about is the future videos that I am going to come out with. Uh, so I actually have all my planted aquarium series put together, um, on how I set up the five gallon planted aquarium that I showed you guys with my neon tetra. Um, there he is, he's out now swimming around, but, uh, basically, um, I am uh, coming out with a video on how I set it up, um, a video on uh, what I use for uh, plants and how I planted them, and also uh, another video on what I use for nutrients for the plants. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I might also use make a video on how I stock it, because even though you guys already know what's going in there. Um, I am going to have to do a transfer a specific way since these fish that are in, that are going to be transferred over into the planted aquarium, like the um, male uh, endler guppies and the male platies, um, 
they are going to uh, need to get used to the nutrients that they don't have added to their tank. Um, so I, I'm thinking it's going to be about a uh, four-part series, uh, just like the Goldfish series. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. If you've enjoyed this video, well, thanks guys for watching. And uh, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications for more. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.